Sports Car Ultimate Drive Race, or simply Scud Race for short. This was a racing game for Sega's Model 3 arcade system, released in 1996, and, true to form, the renowned North American dissatisfaction for original names ensured that it was imaginatively retitled as Sega Super GT in that region. However, I'm not here to give you a video game history lesson, I only intend to show you how well the game can play on a Raspberry Pi 5 and to let you know about some recent developments with the Model 3 emulator. As you can see from the footage, the game is running beautifully. The frame rate monitor is reporting a frame rate at or close to 60 frames per second, and more importantly, it feels like it's playing well. While I'm actually playing, I can't keep an eye on the frame rate, but I'm not experiencing any dips in performance at all. Not even when it gets busy with many cars clustered together at once. And that's really good. Now, I didn't do anything special to get this game running well, it just works out of the box. Using the supermodel version that is maintained by Dirtbag Zone and a recent game ROM, no tinkering with settings, it just plays. I only had to configure the game in the service menu to behave as a single game and not as a networked multiplayer game. Incidentally, that is possible, but that might be a video for another day. I do have a modest overclock in place, but I also tried the game without the overclock and it still works just fine. So even a stock Pi 5 with no overclock can play Scud Race. Okay, I want to tell you some recent supermodel developments. In my last supermodel video a couple of weeks ago, in which I showed you how to get Sega Rally 2 running well on the Pi 5, I mentioned how important it was to ensure that your ROM is not a merged ROM, which means that it contains clone variants of the game within. This was because Supermodel would invariably load one of the clones instead of the main game. I showed you how to purge the clones from your ROM if you happen to have a merged one. So now that's no longer necessary. DBX heard what I said and realized what a problem it was. He's now solved that issue. So if you happen to have a merged ROM, then you don't have to worry. Supermodel 3 will load the main game from now on. Not only that, but we are now also able to specify a variant to load instead, by way of a command line parameter if you want to. And if none is specified, then the parent will be loaded anyway. And here's another really cool new feature. If you want to specify certain command line parameters without editing the RetroPie run command command line, all you need to do is create a text file in the same location as the ROM, named the same as the game ROM with a .commands extension. And in that text file, put in all the command line parameters you want for that game. So in this case, I'm going to get Scud Race to load the variant called Scud DXO, which is the deluxe export version. The parameter for that is dash game equals Scud DXO. And I'm also enabling the frame rate monitor using the parameter dash show dash FPS. You can add as many parameters as you want. If you're playing a shooting game, you can add the Sindon border, or you can even apply a custom resolution that would apply to just this one game. Now, when you load the game, if you have the ability to remotely access your Pi via an SSH program like PuTTY, you can type in this command to monitor the run command log in real time, as long as you do it after you launch the game. Now I can see from the log here that the variant loaded was indeed Scud DXO as I wanted. And you can see the frame rate monitor is updating every second. Now the reason I chose to load Scud DXO in this case is because I wanted to show you one more thing. Scud DXO has recently become available and there's been some excitement about it because it's like playing a different game. Now it's not perfect yet, as the overlay graphics are a bit glitched and unpleasant to look at, but I believe people are working on that as we speak. It's still playable, and that's where the differences are. Regular Scud Race has a rolling start, which is how games like the Daytona series do it. But Scud DXO has a grid start from a standstill. The other difference that I observed is the way that drifting is handled. I think original Scud Race allows you to accelerate while drifting around bends, 
but Scud DxO does not. And as a consequence, I found it very difficult to go around bends without hitting the sides. It really does play like a different game. Now I wanted to let you know about that variant along with the other supermodel features just so that you are kept up to speed with these things as they happen. If you want Scud DxO, make sure you have a recent ROM. I believe it only became available for a main ROM set version 0.263. If you want to have access to the new supermodel features, they are only available from Dirtbag Zone's version of supermodel. And if you already have it, I recommend that you visit his repo and make sure that you get the latest version of the installer script module. This is because the script module has changed recently to allow for the handling of the commands file. So make sure you get that and then install as per usual. I'll put some advice down below in the description if you need it. I'll also mention that DBX has submitted his script module to RetroPie setup to be considered for inclusion as an official part of RetroPie. So maybe, fingers crossed, it'll be easier to install an update in the future. But we'll just have to wait and see. Those RetroPie guys are really busy at the moment and are doing a fantastic job of getting RetroPie shipshape and ready for officially supported use on the Pi 5, so they kind of have their hands full. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this update informative and educational. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment if you feel so inclined. I'd really appreciate that. I enjoy making these videos for you guys and it would be great to know if you enjoy them too. I'll see you next time. Catch you then.